happy 420 everybody out there especially those who did not waste an instant watching elon musk's latest firework disaster elon musk starship the hype the massive thing he's been hyping for so long oh this will take us to mars soon enough oh we're gonna go around the earth and then come back and land right here nope flopped blew up within three minutes made it no more than 29 kilometers high and just crumbled to dust there are student rockets that are better than this but this guy is somehow the richest man in the world and the most successful man in the world who has the absolute record for most catastrophic failures and pissing away of money i've ever fathomed just one of these rockets could could oh my god i could make a i can't even imagine what to do with any of this but yet and also i love it because it's the same people that are just chomping at the bit for this explosion to go off that are complaining and telling us not to use cars and raising our gas prices and shunning us for polluting the world when they're they just let off a, like a, a absolute abomination of of smoke and most likely toxins everywhere all over texas and the people aren't buying it on rt but a lot of the ones on twitter are Stu peters has a good take we're unable to pass through the firmament who knows i don't think that it went that far up but i think it's just a, it was just a piece of thing it was wobbling after the first like couple minutes it was just an absolute disgrace of garbage not even even if they had done it in cgi it would have been more advisable this was just a total failure in every respect. I can't even believe it. And when you consider Elon Musk's accomplishments uh, paralleled with his failures, it's like, what is happening here? You know, this guy claims to be the smartest guy. He's doing so many things for truth, yet he's perpetuating this nonsense more than anything. To me, it is beginning to seem like he's the highest paid person on earth because he's got an entire generation duped into so many things that are blatant, absolute lies. And so um, I guess they pay a lot for that position on this planet, in this realm, when you're connected and have always been connected. So again, wow, how are we, how is this even happening? How are people like, yeah, next up Mars? Like, wake up, people. Are these all bots? Or are these are there really people that are this oblivious and pathetic and that are like one of the things that's absolutely the most astounding of all of this though is and you'll see at the end I just showed clips because I didn't want to get it taken down but you'll see at the very this thing starts wobbling all over the place flopping it was supposed to separate it didn't it supposed to go around the earth oops it didn't because nothing does and um, and then the people in the mission control are like not like sad they're amazingly happy and one of them was quoted as saying, like, if it gets past the, um, like, pretty much, like, a, it gets 200 feet in the air, then we win. And they're all kind of framing this as, like, oh, you know, we learned a lot from this. It's like, what, what the heck did you possibly learn from this? Except that this is a total pissing away of money, and the people are somehow in very high numbers, dumb enough to continue to follow you and support you after this, or to continue to believe it. I know this video will probably end my chances of Elon ever retweeting anything I've ever done, but oh well. This stuff is insane, and I find it just terrible when people can do this, can be deceivers on such a mass level. And you know, they throw out some good, throw out some bones here and there, to you know, trust me, I'm good. And then, uh, you know, you do things like this that are just like so blatantly ridiculous. In 1969, they supposedly went to the moon. And now you're trying to say this is an accomplishment by blowing up like 100 feet out? What if there were people in this thing? Who would ever want to do this? And, uh, and now that we know about the Challenger show and theater that you can find those people all over the place, there is just... It's just a shame after another. This whole space venture is, is disgusting. And I used to absolutely love it. I used to be obsessed with NASA when I was really young. And then, boy, am I thankful I discovered the reality of this because, holy God, it is such a disgusting game of manipulation and science cultery that it is really just disgusting and what a waste of money imagine all the uses this money could have gone towards while the guy's boring company tunnels places all over the world probably finding treasures of the ancients not letting anyone know because the history has to be preserved the dumbed down useless humanitarian history and charade that's been perpetuated since that last reset in the 1800s is just still going full force and the characters and all stars and 
movie stars of the show are just taking over every media and the cycle just constantly flows with oh this guy's the best oh no no this guy's the best a couple months later oh trust him and everyone's just like everyone's just cognitive dissonance nobody knows which way is up literally and um, it needs to change come on it's 420 we need to start thinking a little more rationally <laughs> if that's if that's possible but either way we need someone we need a scientist like on, on that on par with elon with the amount of money and power and sway but one that actually steers humanity in the right direction based on truth and not propagandic reset nonsense uh, hopefully that day will come because all of this money is just getting hissed away while the poor get poorer and we struggle and they continue to just put their thumb down on us and laugh at us the entire way we know they're laughing you can feel it it is more genuine than anything they do and um, wow we need to um, really change things but here we go so Elon has gone up in smoke again and now it's time for you all too so happy 420 bless you all